We will now draw a sacred geometry pattern called flower of life around with some basic mandala patterns too. So ultimately when it is complete it's going to look really beautiful. So let's begin by finding the center point. The center point is found. So now you need to prepare the compass for two centimeters. So once you do that, keep this as a center and draw a circle. Now this intersects with this line in two places. Now that will be the center. Two more circles on either side. So here is the intersection. So here is another intersection here. Now if you look at there are four intersections here. One, two, three, four. And here as well. One, two, three and four. So we would draw circles, keeping this as a center. Stranded in the open, dried out tears of sorrow, lacking all emotion. Or after outlining with the sketch pen, you can erase the lines later. Let us not touch it at the moment. So now again, one, two, three. On this side also we have three intersections. One, two, three. If you look at in these in circles here you know there is a flower pattern also that is formed so now we are responsible to bring in the same pattern in all the circles here even I mean the circles in the outermost layer we are supposed to bring in the same pattern so what we are supposed to do is at every intersection that we see one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, eleven, and twelve. So, in all these intersections, now we would be drawing circle, but not full circle, but only a half circle. For example, I'll keep the compass here. It's only a half circle. So whenever a new intersection is created, keep that as a center and draw a half circle. Now if you see closely, we have actually brought in the flower pattern in all the circles. However, if we want to complete it, we can manually draw an arc here so that the borders also look more complete. So this is called a flower of life pattern. So to make it more beautiful, what I'm going to do is to draw a circle around this pattern and I'm going to draw two more circles. And now keep the protractor here, mark the angles, every 10 degree I'm going to mark.
now I'm going to connect the dots so while connecting the dots we need to be a little careful so that we connect the right dots so while connecting diagonally take one from the left and one to the right here and then connect these two together so if you want to see how to make grids and how to draw circles I have uploaded two videos under the playlist Mandala Basics. You can definitely go back to them and watch them. So I'm going to outline this pattern now. Now flower of life pattern is formed. Now here we would just uh, trace the outline. If you have a compass that fits in your uh, sketch pen or a gel pen you can straight away draw with that. However since I don't have such an option I'm drawing with the pencil and then tracing the lines. You know now the pattern that I'm going to fill in is so like this the entire circle. Now that the tracing is over, you can safely erase the pencil lines. Now the flower of life pattern looks more beautiful and neat. I'll erase the uh, pencil lines in this pattern also. So as far as possible, I have erased all the pencil lines. Now the mandala looks more beautiful. <music>